Okay guys, just before I get into Damien's truck, this is going to be a before video. I'm super excited about this color, man. I can't even wait to show it to you guys. This color I haven't done yet, but um, real quick on 589s, I am actually able to quote, build, and spec 589s now. And just on average, just to give you guys an idea, roughly on pricing, unless I incur any price increases, a similarly spec 589 to a 389, they're around five to 10,000 less, depending on the choices you make. Um, there's a lot more choices that are available, so um, it's kind of an open-ended question, but everybody's been asking me, how does it price out compared to a 389? So there's your answer, guys. Um, if you expect it to be around the same price, you might not be disappointed. This depends on what choices we make. So, okay, Damian Gordon, ah, uh, this is such a neat guy. He's he's a good friend with Kevin Updike out of Wisconsin. Uh, just great people. He's he's out of Florida, originally from Jamaica. We built him a plum crazy purple truck about a year and a half ago, and he had it stolen. And just so you know, Florida is number one in the country for stolen Peterbilts. So make sure you guys get extra geotabs or something to be able to track your stuff. That Because uh, these uh, crooks are really good at taking and clipping the GPS wires on uh, all these over-the-road trucks. They're extremely efficient. So with that said, Damien, give, uh, he waited like six months to get his, to get his uh, insurance payout to get, to get his new truck on order. So it's been a long process. He's been driving a Freightliner to get by, and he's really paid the price. But on this one, he wanted a little bit darker purple. And so we went with um, Prowler Purple and Diamond White Seminole. And I gotta tell you guys, this is probably my absolute most favorite purple that I've done so far. It just constantly changes colors. And you glance at the truck one one minute and you think it's black you look at it in a different shade it's a different color um, it's a really bright day out today so it's real hard to tell how well it's coming out but he wanted a deeper purple and for you Mopar guys you probably understand what this is it's got a little bit of red flake in it so it'll it'll change from red and I don't know if you can see that up over the top it comes there's a little bit of red up on the corners it's like a cross between uh, black cherry and probably uh, legendary purple so this is part one I'm not going to go into the hood it's got a 605 Cummins 2050 torque air ride front 13 twos I'm learning a lot about the 589s One of the things that, um, with that new step that I learned the other day, is you're going to sacrifice your air tank under the door. It's going to have a lot bigger step. It's not going to be like a 579 step. So I, I have a link to a YouTube channel, if you, or a 20-minute YouTube that I did on uh, options and everything. So under on the underside of the truck, it's really going to be completely unchanged. We still have the 131 long hood, inch long hood. 22 tall, diff lockers, air brakes, all the goodies here. Now these are Alcoa ULA ones. They've, they've discontinued the Alcoa Ultra ones with the bigger holes. They've discontinued those. I still got old Greeny over there, the fallout truck. I think the reason that uh, nobody's really, I could have had the thing sold 10 times over if we had anything other than 355 rears in that truck and the fact it's a double frame. So um, to get it moved, if we need to do a rear end swap, if that's what's been hanging you up on that truck, you can see old Greeny over there in the background. That's what we nicknamed it. It's still available. And then I still have some other trucks that are available too. I got a uh, 579 owner operator back there in the background. I think that one's Casino Purple.
579 owner operator. That one is available. I got some ultra lofts and then I have black cherry owner operator 579 with a 565 Cummins. 18 speed, three and a quarter rears, low pro 22s, 72 inch three window sleeper. So, so on Damien's truck, he, he is gonna put a full size fridge in here. So he did, he opted out of the fridge. But can't wait to show you guys this thing all dressed up, man. It's going to be super, super cool. So subscribe, like, stay tuned, and we'll talk to you all soon. Stay safe, everybody.